One of the interesting features of this camera is its ability to be um, specific for dental is for us to be able to use it to take a really accurate shade. So with this we have two basic options for a mode that we can select. So we're going to go to that mode option and if we look closely at the back of the screen we see a low glare button as well as an isolate shade button. Uh, if you choose the low glare button it is going to default again to a fairly close-up view and like previous ones you can see how far away you should be from your subject. Uh, again about 5.5 inches. Uh, and similarly with the isolate mode we're going to be doing the same thing. Uh, again around 5.5 inches away. Uh, with both of these you can hold a shade tab into the, into the picture. What's specific with the low glare mode as with the low glare mode it's going to take some of the glare away and you'll be able to see the gingiva and tissues in good form. The isolate mode is, or shade mode is specific uh, because it will essentially gray out all of the negative space, the soft tissue and everything around it. So you can see the, specifically the chroma and the color and the contour of the individual teeth. Uh, we'll demonstrate that a little bit later. The last shots I want to show uh, utilizing the camera to take a good picture. Um, again, there are two settings, the isolate uh, setting or the low glare setting. And you can look at your manual to look at the specifics of how to use it. I just want to show you how we take the picture. So again, with the patient sitting on the side of the dental chair uh, and with proper retractors, we're going to get about five inches from the patient, hold the shade tab up to the tooth that you're shooting, and take the picture and shoot a couple different angles. So shoot from the frontal view, then maybe shoot from uh, the side view, and then if you drop the chin down and exaggerate shooting from up top, sometimes the different angles will help the technician see not only color and contour, but also maybe some of the translucencies. I think if you do that, you'll have uh, uh, great communication with your dental laboratory.